So on a submarine, just like most uh, ships, a bathroom is called ahead. On a submarine though, there's not that many of them. So you have the captain and the XO share one together. All of the other officers together, they share one together. The chiefs, they have one bathroom, or correction, head, excuse me. And then for everybody else, so about the last 130 people, they split two of them. So this is actually probably the largest of the showers uh, for the general enlisted on board here, which is still uh, probably a little bit less than six feet tall with the uh, old fashioned phone style sliding door. And uh, you have to make sure every time we are uh, done to help keep the corrosion down, we have to squeegee it down all the way. And then behind me, there's only two sinks and one toilet behind me here. So sometimes it can be a bit of a waiting game trying to wait for a spot for you to open up. We use a reverse osmosis now where we take seawater and push it at pretty high pressure through these really fine filters and it makes pure water. But there's not enough of it to go around. So we do what's called submarine showers where you turn on the water just long enough to get wetted up, turn it off, and then you can go ahead and lather yourself up. Turn it back on, rinse yourself down, turn it back off, and the goal is to use as little water as possible. A minute or two is worth of water, so four gallons maybe. If for some reason you have a lot of water, the captain can uh, get on the circuits and announce that what we call Hollywood showers are allowed, where you just let the water run as much as you want, take as long of a shower as you want, but they're actually pretty rare days. Most of the time, you have to watch what you use. I am under the official height limit for a submarine. I've got about three inches to go before they need to give me a waiver. But this is probably the largest of the showers on the submarine for a, uh, for a general enlisted person. Um, and it still is pretty tight. Can't quite stand up quite right. And typically it's a bit of a struggle not to end up touching any of the walls as you're uh, trying to take a shower. I do the squat or sometimes I'll do the, the angle, try to go from corner to corner here. Definite must though with as much as, the, uh, as much as these get used continuously as a pair of uh, flip flops to use as shower shoes. Never want to try to barefoot this. 